So let's talk about your tweet here. You said, uh, Bernie Sanders said, our fight is not, is now, is not just Democrats versus Republicans. It is democracy versus oligarchy. And you said, says the socialist Bernie Sanders. What do you mean by that tweet? Because I, I agree with him. I, this is my whole point and everything. Like, you know, I don't care if you're a Democrat or Republican and independent. I will talk to you. I'll sit here. I'll listen to what you have to say. But our fight is with the people who control the money, who control the presidents, the military industrial complex, all of these people. I believe that's our fight, too. I don't care if he calls himself a democratic socialist. He's not a socialist. I'll tell you that as an actual socialist. He's not one. He is closer to somebody in Norway. Uh, I you think know. what he's trying to do more than anything is gain attention. And he doesn't know how for to 40 do years. It. OK, huh? for 40 years, he's been trying to gain attention. He's been consistent. You could find videos no. of him saying the same thing. No, no, years I'm ago. trying to say is he's trying to appeal to people right now, whether it's the youth or whatnot. Okay. So when I was running in 2016, I would go to these, you know, universities or whatnot and have talks. And I would tell them, I said, you know, your families were running away from this type of government that he wants to instill here. Right. Isn't that the reason why they came to the United States? Because uh. they didn't want to have communism or socialism. Uh. And then you guys are here and you want to <laughs> elect it. You can really hear a pin drop because then the kids stop and think for a second. Wait, you know so, what? That's generalized. That's kind of so. right. Well, I'm Latin American, so. um, and I know you have uh, f you family from Venezuela. Yeah. So let me push back here for a second. Uh, those countries, let, let's talk about Bolivia. Bolivia is a country that had uh, a successful socialist president that our country pushed out because he was so successful because we don't want countries in Latin America to be successful, not only just because of the economy and the systems that they're pushing a socialist system, but also because, hey, they happen to be brown people. Let's let's be real here. We go and attack people abroad and they all happen to be brown people. We bomb people abroad. This all comes down to a competition for resources and the military industrial complex. So to say that Bernie Sanders is representing communist Cuba or even something close to uh, socialist is a little bit disingenuous because. Let me tell you what happens is, is that every country is independent and has its own. Um, how do I say it? Um, issues within itself. Okay. So what might be right for Correct. one country isn't necessarily right for another. Sure. Um, for example, I believe it was Chomsky, if I'm not mistaken, that said um, about Islam and democracy. It's the same thing. They have their own essence of democracy, you know, within Islam. So how is it, who are we to say what is and what isn't based Absolutely. on what, you know, yeah. um, I think it was Jeff uh, just that said, you know, democracy is a word that was created. You have to realize we're a republic here in the United States. We're not necessarily a democracy. We're not even that okay? at this point. Yeah. <laughs> well, anymore. Yeah. But what happens is, is that there's a misconception. You're talking about Latin America, that these people, it's a language barrier. So when they come to the United States and they become citizens, they're not being educated as to the options of what it is they have or what the what the parties represent in itself. They want democracy. They automatically sign them up. The Democrats is Democrat telling them democracy is Democrat. People have a misconception about the libertarians. They seem to think that the libertarians are liberals just because it has an L in it. No, sure. it, that's not yeah. what it means. So, it, again, it goes back to educating people. So sure. I, I really don't feel that. Um, we can dictate to others what they can and they cannot do. Sure. We should not be getting involved. But we should also if educate If we're going to get involved at any level, it would be helping them, helping them balance their budget, showing them how it can be done, you know, helping Practical them how things. to do this. You know, I was actually meeting with somebody from um, Grenada the other day, and we had this conversation. They're a small island, and what's happening is, is that the United States seems to think that they can control these small islands. And whenever they feel like it, they'll tell them what it is they can and they can't do. The United States doesn't necessarily help them in any way. And when they had a hard time, who was there for them? He said Chavez was there for them and they gave them the oil and they gave it to them at interest free. And that's how it helped them sure. in that point. That doesn't mean that they're going to be communist either. You right. know, it's there's different ways you can help others without necessarily throwing it in their face and telling them, but now you owe me a favor. But I just don't understand so. how Bernie Sanders is close to being a communist or a, a, like 
I just uh, how is he a communist? He's he's advocating pretty much FDR. FDR. He wants to be able to control what everybody is making or he wants to be able to allocate and everybody has to pay taxes and then you're going to get this for free. I mean, it would be great to have a healthcare system that can work and, and serve others. Okay, but we've seen I mean, take a look at Canada. How do you think that's working for them? It's actually working much better. Uh, I know people there. It's working much better than I can it tell is here. you. I had a firsthand experience in Canada. We had carbon monoxide poisoning while I was there when I was younger. They sent an ambulance for every single person. They had to close down the whole block. And then they had to tell us that there is a, a hospital for the younger kids. And then there's a hospital for the older kids. My dad signed a waiver for us to go as a family to the family hospital. OK, and then people say, OK, well, when they're going to get, let's say, um, an operation or they need to do something, they have to wait so long in order to get things done over there. They wait. So, they wait more than maybe you do here, but they also don't have to pay thousands of dollars and be yeah. in debt or die because yeah. they're not getting their we'll homeless. I mean, I think bankrupt. I think I mean, we could, we can argue we Canada isn't a perfect system. I don't think anywhere is a perfect system, but I think we can do something to help save lives here. Um, instead of letting these big pharmas and I these big insurance companies. I think my big companies... concern more than anything is the homelessness that we have in America. Of course. And it's a reality. And as much as you can try to put them away or I was in Austin, Texas, and it broke my heart to see people in tents. And we're not talking about refugees. And a lot we're of those people are American intense because they can't citizens. pay their bills, though. Take a look by the take a look by the White House around around yeah. that whole area. Why do we see homeless people there, you know, or downtown, all these major areas? Why aren't we taking care of them before we think we can take care of others or we have to fight wars on behalf of Saudi sure. Arabia? So that's how you really put America first. I yeah. mean, if that's a message I can give Donald Trump, that would be just that. You have to focus really on the people yeah. that you said you wanted to represent. I think that a lot of people are homeless in this country, do because they can't pay their medical bills. Yeah. And that's just a fact. And listen, I, I, I know we can dig deeper into this, yes. but the point I'm trying to make right here, and you said in the beginning of the show, Soraya, was that we should be respectful to other people. Now, this is one of the more kinder tweets you've had to, uh, towards the senator. You know what I'm saying? And I, I think it's okay if you don't agree with their ideology or you think it's different. But to call him an idiot, I think this is where you've lost a lot of momentum and a lot of people can really go in there and take Soraya serious when we, we we kind of just really trash people or the socialist mentality. Because once again, it, democratic socialism isn't socialism as a whole. And everybody, every single situation is different, what they need, what not. Socialism, socialism as, as a whole, okay, or any way you can sugarcoat it or you can put it or it has an end result into communism and we've seen it i don't there's, know you about cannot that. i don't know about that. that there is such a yeah. thing as a democratic socialism there's, because it's you're a literally Democrat existing right now you I, 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 yeah I, I, mean, I mean we'll have to disagree on that but it, i can okay. put i can put you you know look look at uh the netherlands there uh look at norway look at uh greenland look at all these countries that are their their standard of living is at a higher rate sure they pay more in taxes but it's not even about the taxes. It's about reallocating the wealth. He's not telling people you have to do it this way. He's saying you guys can all be free, but pe rich people have to pay their fair share. And I feel like that's not asking too much, especially at a point where you're talking about homelessness, putting America first. I'm all for that. I mean, I, I like somebody like Tulsi Gabbard as well, who is uh, talking about she's not necessarily using the class warfare rhetoric, but she's talking about how you, we need to put America first. Get out of these wasteful regime change wars 100 percent. Also focus on on rebuilding our infrastructure, making sure that people can afford with her single payer plus health care. I mean, ultimately, people are in the streets, as Pasta said, because they can't afford their medical bills. They are working several jobs here in Los Angeles and they still have to live in their cars. They still can't make ends meet. The rent is skyrocketing. We need some sort of regulation social or an upbending on a, on the system, social safety nets to help that. And if we, if we don't do that, it doesn't matter how much we have to talk about. We could talk about this all day, but if people don't get these immediate solutions, which are primal, you need to eat, you need shelter, you need water, you need these basic needs before you can even look and be educated because right now people are too busy to be educated. And so if we don't tackle those issues domestically, they're not going to be able to even pay attention to say, wow, both Democrats and Republicans are corrupt because they, they're too busy trying to survive. And when you're in survival mode, you really don't care about anything else. 
So I just, you know, I just don't no, really see but a that's way out why of we it. Have, they have a lot of wonderful programs like they do in the Catholic churches, like the St. Vincent de Paul programs, and they have the families sign up, and then they're able to help them, you know, feed, the, feed them, whether it's weekly or whatnot. We need more things like that in place to help them and to provide um, shelter for them and things. You know, but you can't expect it to come at the expense always of the middle class, unfortunately. It's That's not the middle class. Feel. It's the, it's the rich, the rich, the very, very not even I'm not even talking about millionaires. I'm talking about billionaires. Yeah. that mm-hmm. Like those people. I, I, I don't have a problem with millionaires. I think you can still become a millionaire without abusing power. But billionaires, you, you become a billionaire by put by pr- pretty much just stepping on people. Um, there is no way that that amount of money is amassed in a very. But you know what bothers way. me more than anything else is when those millionaires are the ones who are trying to tell everybody else what they can do, and they're the ones that are still on the same boat. You understand what I mean? Like how much? Are money you referring does, to Bernie Sanders? Does Bernie Sanders have how much money? But, does uh, Warren have? And oh, oh, you know, and they're constantly talking about it. Bernie Sanders is one of the poorest senators. I mean, he just made money from his book because people buy his book. But I mean, you can't say that's the but same thing know, as a. Do you know what the problem is? Is when we have those politicians that are in place for so long, and they, we've allowed them to get corrupted. We've allowed them to make that yeah. much money in which they become. But he's not corrupt. He hasn't taken money from the the wrong people. If you look at where Bernie Sanders gets his money from, it's legit, and he's been fighting for this. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, working I just, class. This whole like, thing that he has well, all I'm these sure beach houses the show, and it's three for houses. Me to talk about or you guys defend Bernie Sanders? So, mm. any other questions? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, well, I, I, mean, I mean, I just wanted to. Yeah, I just. I mean, if, I just. It's just. There's, I there's mean, no. It's not just him. I I didn't right. mean you know to just talk about him specifically. It just happened to be in that situation. I'm yeah. talking about everybody in general. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's that the politicians themselves are no longer working for the people. They always have a hidden agenda. They always have another reason why they're doing it. And yeah. that's what's sad. It should yeah. really be the primary reason should be about the people. Yeah. Absolutely. And I'm glad that there are candidates out there that are putting the people first. There's several out there. Um, you know, providing actual plans and the, steps the, of action. Yeah, they have plans, yeah. detailed, et cetera, that are out there. And I I'm, I'm thankful for those do, candidates. We do have a lot of candidates that are. Um, I'm not the only one. And I can tell you that it would be great to see that no matter who gets elected, that they can come together and really work together for the benefit of the people. I think at the end of the day, we have that common goal. Sure. Hopefully, yeah. you yeah. would at least hope yeah. that that's everybody's common goal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool.